Rupert and the Water Boatman. A football match is underway. Let's ask the Fox Brothers to play. But Ferdy says they're off to take a swim in Nutwood's nice warm lake. The weather's too cold. They'll both freeze, laughs Podgy. I think it's a tease. The others say they think the same and happily resume the game. Rupert is on his way home when he sees the Fox brothers again. They rub their fur as they walk by. We've got to rush home to get dry. Next morning, Rupert's keen to see if he can solve the mystery. He nears the lake. There's Podgy too. Wait, Rupert calls. I'll come with you. The two chums reach the lake, which seems so hot now that the water steams. A fountain, Podgy cries. I say, that wasn't here the other day. They feel the water. Goodness me, it is hot. How extraordinary. Then Rupert notices the ground. Podgy, look at these tracks I found. Come on, he says. Let's try to find whoever left this trail behind. The tracks start by the lakeside where a pole sticks up. There's something there. A boat, says Podgy. Someone stored all sorts of little jars aboard. I wonder what's inside them, he says. I'll just take a look and see. They're all the same, but who would take jars of pond water from the lake? Then Podgy slips. Oh no, he cries. I think I'm going to capsize. As Rupert looks on in dismay, the boat begins to drift away. Help, Podgy calls. What shall I do? Don't worry, I'll keep up with you. The boat begins to gain speed now. It's going by itself somehow. Then suddenly it swings around and seems about to run aground. Poor Podgy's sure he'll hit the rock, but then he gets another shock. A cave, gasps Rupert. He's all right. Then Podgy's boat drifts out of sight. I wonder where the boat has gone, thinks Rupert as he hurries on. Then Rupert trips. Next thing he feels, himself falling head over heels. He clambers up, amazed to see a stranger watching anxiously. Oh dear, my jars were in your way. I've been collecting them all day. My friend climbed in your boat, but then it disappeared from sight again. Please tell me how to bring him back. Is there a path or special track? The waterworks is where your friend will come to at his journey's end. That's where I work. My job's to make reports on problems like this lake. Just then, two autumn elves appear. Hello, thank goodness that you're here. This way, an elf calls, follow me. There's a door in this hollow tree. The pair are being taken to the autumn elves' secret HQ. It isn't far now. Through that door, the baths are what we called you for. Baths, Rupert thinks. It's a mistake. I thought they'd notice Nutwood's Lake. The bath water from our supply is freezing cold. Please find out why. It should be warm the whole year round, piped from a hot spring underground. I'll send you home a special way so you can start without delay. A railway has a special track. A rail car will soon take you back. The pair climb on and find that they are quickly speeding on their way. The car goes fast, then faster still. It twists and turns its way downhill. Then at the far end of the line, Rupert spots a waterworks sign. This way, the boatman calls. They take a pathway to a hidden lake. The waterworks, his guide declares, as Rupert stands amazed and stares. The boatman says, you'll need a pair of our special pond skates to wear. They're what all water boatmen use. Just slip them on over your shoes. 
Now we can both cross easily. I'll lead the way, just follow me. What fun, laughs Rupert, as they stride across the pond to the far side. Two guards come out to meet the pair and ask the boatman who is there. A land dweller, he's come ashore to find someone he's looking for. Your friend's quite safe, let's go and tell. The inspector were here as well. Oh, thank goodness you've come, Podgy cries. They're all convinced I'm telling lies. You say the lake's hot? Then it's true. But why and what are we going to do? The elves have cold bath water now. Their hot springs warmed the lake somehow. A broken pipe. We'll send a team to set to mend it in a submarine. Wait, calls the boatman, extra crew. My friends and I are going too. The boatman says they'll take the same way to Nutwood that Podgy came. We're back on Nutwood's Lake once more, but where's the leak we're looking for? The fountain, Rupert cries, you see? That's where the broken pipe must be. The submarine dives down to take a closer look beneath the lake. The pondweed sways before their eyes. We found it, everybody cries. The diver says that he can make a new join that will mend the break. All done, he signals, good as new. Now I'll ride back again with you. The submarine starts up once more and heads towards the nutwood shore. Goodbye. Thank you for all you've done. The pals both say that it was fun. The foxes won't believe it when they come to have a swim again.